M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Yaesu FT710. Now I'm refreshing myself because my FTX1 is arriving any day, so I'm refreshing myself here on the DNR and the contour noise reduction features. So I do like to use the sort of icon display. So if you hit the 3DS, you get the 3DS. And if you tap again, you get the icon display, which you can expand here expand and reduce if we just turn it up it's all we'll call it busy but there's a few around now at the moment i've turned all the sort of uh, filtering off completely let's turn it up now the first thing i do when i'm using the icon display is press the function go to level okay level appears here and now i can turn the function knob and move the level and look at the waterfall and get it to how i like it see the way it's changing there I just get it so it's visually how I I like it I like to see the trails but I do like to see some blue then I adjust my span so I go to span and I've selected 100k but look you can go up to a thousand so that's enough for me to be able to tune then it's the RF gain so obviously the volume here that's slightly over so move that, let's get the volume to the top a minute. Move that back and forward. I know that it does affect the signal meter. Now with it all the way round, leave it there for the moment. So first thing I do is DNR. So DNR button here, digital noise reduction. And it adds that sort of watery effect. And if you press and hold the DNR button, look, you can change that. I think four is about what most use. So I'll show you the difference. Turn it up. A bit more. It does make, it does actually make a lot of difference. Now the other thing you'll notice here on my attenuation, my IPO, all that, I've actually got them all off at the moment. My ADC, actually normally I'd have that on auto. Okay. So then we start talking about the, the filtering here. So if we tap the screen or we can press the button here, we go into the sort of different selections here you've got shift width notch and contour there is a further menu to adjust some of these to sort of fine tune them as well if you press the function and go to operation and go to receive dsp you'll see that you can start to adjust these here look and the contour level i've, I've been advised to do is around nine okay just so you know that so there's further adjustments there and that's within the operation settings let's just go back Now the DNR is off, Let's tap or press this, I'll just show you, you can press off, that's the, that's the contour off, on, so when it's on you can adjust it look, do that again, and see it moving up here. And if you hold and press, gives you the default. Let's leave it on. Now we can move along to the other selections. It's very cool, isn't it?
Sorry about it, some faffing. So you can see you've got full control here. I mean, it's excellent, of course, Tinker, get it to the settings you like. There's the amp on. You've got two amps. And turn back the level. So that's the amp on. I wouldn't say I hear a big difference. go to different sorry about that. when you go to different bands you can again adjust the level how you like it if you do want to change the span and that does affect the level as well Got a nice wide range there but not very good on 20 for me at the moment and don't forget with the new FTX one you're going to be able to do two meters and 70 There we go, change that. The level is probably the thing I use the most. And sometimes the signals are really clear and easy to tune. Look, today you can see it's, it's fuzzy. That's the word I'll use. Fuzzy. To change band, nice and easy, just tap the band there. Oh, sorry, the, band, the mode. You've got your presets for FT8. I, I, I use my own settings on that. I have made a video and multi-screen oscilloscope cursor there expand full screen it is fun isn't it now with the new FTX1 remember you've got dual receive yeah so it's working more like the 101 well, you're going to be able to stack it with two frequencies and all that. Uh, but at the moment, because of the, F in my opinion, because of the FTX1, this radio has become an absolute bargain. And sometimes just turn in, watch this. Just turn in the RF game back will do it for you. Quick bit of DNR. But it's become a bargain. This thing is like £800 delivered now. And I, I, I'm completely flabbergasted by that because it's 550 quid just for the SPA1 amplifier for the FTX1. And you get this. And you know that the head unit uh, of the... Because the FTX1, you do actually... It's, it's a bigger radio than you imagine. The FTX1, it's nearly the same width. It's not quite. I would say it's... Uh, let's try to measure it. I haven't been measuring it here. I would say it's only about uh, maybe a centimetre shorter. So it goes to about here. So it's a big unit, the FTX1. Um, and of course it does VHF, UHF, it's got your GPS. I'm actually going to test that with a normal GPS for your car. So I've got one here with a 3.5 jack. 
I'll just show you there. Look, 3.5 jack GPS connector there. Sorry about this. This was about £10, yeah? Now it's 40 odd pounds for the one that you get from the Asia. So I'm definitely going to be testing that on the FTX one, which should have come to me last week, but the postal service basically let me down. Uh, it's in the UK, and uh, I'll be doing, for my uh, USA friends out there, I'll be doing extensive in-depth videos with the FTX. Uh, one, just testing every single function and learning the radio. But yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites, you know, and I cannot believe the price that they, you know, that they are selling these for. So if you're thinking you want to have that sort of FTX one experience, but you're not really bothered about the VHF and UHF side, then this is the one to go for. Because if you look above on mine, I've got a little dual bander there. That's all you need. And it's got C4FM, that's the FTM 200. So anyway, thanks loads for watching my channel. And if you look at the DS, I know a lot of people go, oh, I don't really like it, but you get used to it. You do get used to it. A lot speedier. Go a bit faster. And it looks great on a big screen. Of course you've got DVI full screen output on this one. You have not got that on the FTX one. The SCU LAN does work fine on the 710. I've made videos on that as well and just enjoy your radios and always remember it's a hobby for fun don't never take it too seriously and that doesn't mean break the law it just means enjoy yourself it's a hobby don't take it too seriously um and and thanks so much for watching my channel bye for now Amazing, 7-3.